Good morning and welcome to the Championship channel. For those of you who may not have seen the channel before, this is a new channel. I currently run another channel on YouTube for Millwall fans called Lions TV. Shameless plug. Links in the description below. But I, on the back of that, was getting good traffic from other fans, from other clubs who were saying they hate Millwall, which is fair enough because that's exactly what we want. But they like me personally. So I started the second channel just for everyone who follows the Championship and get on this, bear with me, because it's completely nothing to do with the championship. But today, we are going to the Checker Trade Trophy final at Wembley between Sunderland and Portsmouth. The reason I'm doing this video is, one, because I've got a free ticket, because we make support Sunderland, if I'm honest. And two, is because Sunderland and Portsmouth, both big, big clubs, uh, predominantly Premier League clubs. But they, you know, testament to how good the championship is now, let alone the Premier League, that these clubs are no longer in it. It is an 80,000 sellout at Wembley. And I'm sure one, if not both of these clubs, will be back in the championship next year. So let's go and have a look at them today. Have a look at their fan base. Should be a good one. See you at Wembley. 85,000 sell out here at Wembley today. Across Europe, only one match will be higher attended, and that was Barcelona against Espanyol in the New Camp last night, which had 92,000. Just a, an idea of the scale, of the size of the two clubs. <laughs> Sunderland versus Portsmouth, and this is why I'm in the Sunderland end, mate. We've talked in great depth before yeah. about our respective clubs, and you've always wanted me to experience Sunderland fans first hand. You're here, 40,000 of them inside Wembley. Check a trade trophy final. Forget if it's a Mickey Mouse cup, it's what Sunderland is, it's what it's all about. Big fan base, big following. Yeah, we're going to score three today, and it don't matter. You've been saying be three nil all morning, three nil all morning. Sticking morning. by that. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Sunderland are a big club, as two are Portsmouth. <laughs> Maybe, respectively, should both be back in the championship at least. Sunderland will be back. I don't know about Portsmouth, but Sunderland will be back up automatically this season. It's a good advert for League One this. Two good massive advert. clubs that should Sal be back. Wembley. Second highest attended game in Europe this weekend, only after Barcelona, so it says it all. They're coming on strong, they're all over Pompey. Just their final ball is in great. If they can find that final ball, it's only a matter of time.
Portsmouth nil. He's overly in front of Mackhams. They're halfway there. Sunderland and Portsmouth. Portsmouth could have nicked it at the end, so could have Sunderland. Not been a bad game. Finishing's not been great. The two good moments of quality has led to two goals. I don't know what I fancy now. I fancy Sunderland earlier. Not too sure now. Half time in extra time. It's looking like penalties to me. Both teams have had all the energy zapped out of them. They've both made three subs. Could be penalties. Which won't be a bad thing as a neutral. Sunderland have got five minutes to save it and take it to penalties, but it's not looking lightly. Portsmouth are fitter, they've got more legs about them. I don't know where the keeper's going, I'm just watching the replay. It's a good finish under pressure. Jamal Lowe, 2-1. Five minutes to go in extra time. Championship. They give a good account of themselves, they can be proud. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>